Okay, this video is going to be based uh, around Android and a particular problem. Um, yeah, it's kind of one of the reasons, uh, one of the several reasons why I haven't really w went with Android as much as I am very interested in it. And uh, I was actually looking around in the internet forums and I happened to stumble upon this for a different reason. And uh, of course, uh, a lot of people out there know there's uh, a lot of Android devices uh, are kind of laggy uh, when you're scrolling and moving around in, in the interface. And uh, now this news actually comes from Andrew Munn. At one time he was a software intern uh, for Google uh, developing their Android platform. And he says that one of the fundamental reasons Android is laggy is UI rendering, threading, and priority. And I'm going to really concentrate on priority. Um, or it's called real-time priority. Now, what that means, I'll give you an example. Um, let's say with, um, okay, give an example, the iOS by Apple. Um, you're going to use the Safari browser, go, go to a website, and while it's still loading, you take your finger, scroll and move around uh, in the web page, and all graphics will have real-time priority over other processes so actually while you're scrolling through there it's going to be nice and smooth but it will prevent the um the rest of the web page from loading until you stop uh interfacing by touch uh, on the web browser and once you do that we'll continue uh, we'll go ahead and continue loading up again so that's what's kind of meant by real-time priority okay android doesn't have real-time priority uh, over its graphic interface, um, it has normal priority. So trying to do multiple things while you're interfacing uh, with the, the graphics will at times cause the, the graphics to lag and, you know, be slow because it's trying to do everything at once. And that appears one of the big, uh, one of the big, biggest problems with Android right now. And, uh, now there are there is somebody else that that kind of made a response to um, Andrew Dunn I think that was his name uh, I just kind of wrote this down here which is Diane Hackborn and she is a full time Google software engineer and she supposes the the lagging in Android is is caused is caused by uh, by the increasing security and flexibility of Android platform over iOS is the cause of the performance overhead and it's I guess supposedly why it's laggy and increasingly fast hardware in the future will help resolve the issue so there's kind of you know I'm trying to figure out um, you know I'm not saying that it's true that the what Andrew Munn is saying but I find it very interesting so you got to determine this for yourself and um, Andrew Munt proposes um, one of the things to do to fix the problem is um, have to do a total rewrite of Android framework um, to allow for real-time priority for the graphics uh, framework. Um, this is going to uh, if they do totally rewrite it, then that would cause other problems. Um, the Android apps wouldn't work with the new. Uh, you know, rewritten version of Android, and the developers would actually have to rewrite all the um, apps to, uh, to do that. And possibly, um, um, Android would also possibly need legacy support mode for older apps. And obviously, uh, work on other uh, Android features would be stalled when uh, the new framework is being developed. So, as, as you can see, I don't see if that really is what's causing the lag in Android. I could possibly see this is, you know, this may not be fixed for, you know, many years to come. And, uh, and my thoughts on that is, um, uh, why Diane's, what she proposes is waiting, uh, for faster hardware to fix a problem. I don't believe in that. Don't use faster hardware as a solution to a software issue. Um, you know, fix what's wrong with the software. Don't, you know, to me, that's not a, you know, uh, a good enough uh, reason. 
And uh, most of the response that Diane Hackborn put for um, Andrew Munns, um, she kind of went into how Android works, and she didn't really offer any solutions to the problem like Andrew uh, Munn did. So, um, you know, check it out for yourself. I'm not saying that to take the intern's advice over the um, certified um, software engineer, uh, Diane, but, you know, I think it's very interesting. Look it up for yourself and see what you think.